Welcome back. Let's look at inflation. What is inflation? Inflation refers to the general increase in prices and the decrease in the purchasing power of money when measured against specific standard. It is determined by the change in the price an average consumer pays for an imaginary basket of goods and services. This imaginary basket consists of approximately 1,500 items, including groceries, clothing, alcohol, tobacco, vehicles, housing, transport, and consumer costs, as well as VAT. So inflation is an imaginary number that shows you, according to the helps and the needs, and um, stuff we buy, services we look at, what is the general price increase going to be? Why is it important? It is important so that you can budget. Now, if we look at some product inflation rates over the last year, this was um, sent out in April 2023 compared with April 2022. So onions went up with 52.8%, maize meal 34.6, and then you'll see sump 29.8, ice cream went up with 28.2%, pizza or pies takeaways 25.6%, washing powder 25.3, peppers 25%, and then paraffin 24.8%, meaning onions went up, the highest was onions, the highest increase, and the lowest one here was paraffin. Let's look at some other products. Beetroot went up with 11.5%, and there at the bottom, we will see that brown sugar only went up with 3.7%. Now, as you can see, all of these has got different inflation rates, but when put together in a small basket, we can work out the average, and that is then the number given to us. How is inflation calculated? The inflation rate of South Africa is calculated monthly, but an average inflation rate is calculated after a year and then compiled annually meaning they will have a basket of goods and through the year they will take the prices each month and calculate the inflation and then at the end of the year they will compile it and calculate an average. This means it needs to be the exact same goods at the exact same shops and just the prices will differ and then we will calculate it from there on. Now remember the inflation rate does not mean that every item in the basket has, ri has risen sorry, by the same percentage. It therefore means that all items in the basket are not subject to the same average price increase. And that is what we showed you just now when we looked at the table. Now, different sectors also have different inflation rates because they have different needs. If we look at a household versus a school, a household will need groceries, clothing, water and electricity, um, some municipal services, some entertainment, and that's th that kind of stuff, where a school will need paper, stationery, also water and electricity, but they have got other types of expenses, and that is why they've got another in uh, interest rate or inflation rate rather. Let's look at some calculations. Let's take a look at two till slips. Now the first one on the left hand side is from 2022 and the second one is 2023. Now as you can see it's from the exact same shop, the shop around the corner and it's the same tax invoice number and then what they bought was breakfast rusk, coffee, sugar, tomatoes, lemons and potatoes. 
it is the exact same product, but the only difference is the prices. So, the break breakfast rusks in 2022 was 36 rand 99. Now it is 66 rand 99. Coffee also went up. Sugar went up from 35.67 to 40.67. The tomatoes actually went down. The lemons went up and the potatoes went up as well. So the only thing here that decreased was the tomatoes. Let's look at the questions. What is the difference in the cost of coffee in June 2022 and June 2023? So in June 2023, it was 99 Rand 99. And in 2022, it was 69 Rand 99. So that means there is a 30 Rand difference between the two. Let's continue with the next question. Calculate the percentage increase in the price of rusks from June 2022 to June 2023. Now we need to go and look for the amount in the tool slip. So the breakfast rusks for 2022 was 36 Rand 99, where it was 66 Rand 99 in 2023. Now, the moment we see percentage increase, you need to think new, minus old, over old, times 100. And then we're going to substitute. So it's going to be 66 Rand 99 minus 36 Rand 99 over 36 Rand 99 times 100. And then we will see that the price went up with 81,1%. That is quite a lot. Let's look at the last question before we take a break. The shop around the corner gives the employees a 10% increase in July 2023. Is this increase inflation linked? Give a reason for your answer. So first we need to go and calculate the total inflation. We will do that by comparing the two balances with one another. Again, new minus old. So it's going to be... 274,16 minus this 174,66 over 174,66 and remember the multiply by 100 and then you will see the food prices went up with 41 rand a uh, 41,5 percent and that's a lot but is the increase linked with the food prices most certainly not it's a lot lower than what it should be and that brings us to another break hope to see you just now